Hello and welcome dear learners, professionals and students to the very interesting and informative topic on dissolution studies for alcohol induced dose dumping. This video is a part one for this topic and part two will come soon. So the topic is dissolution studies for alcohol induced dose dumping. So we will study the meaning of each and every terminology that is dissolution studies required for ADD. ADD is nothing but alcohol induced dose dumping. So the long form of ADD is alcohol induced dose dumping. Now see many formulations are available for the oral solids like IR formulations are there, ER formulations or modified uh, release formulations are there, then delayed release formulations are there. So these formulations have their advantages and sometimes disadvantages. So the dissolution studies which involve the use of alcohol in the dissolution media, those studies are called as the dissolution studies for alcohol induced dose dumping. See, the dose is the quantity of the drug which is administered. You may also call it as the level claim or single time dose. Then dumping meaning. The normal meaning of dumping means to put down something quickly or in a careless way. That means dumping is not in a controlled way. This action is uncontrolled and it is in careless way. Now, dose dumping means release of dose quickly or suddenly. Release in uncontrolled way. This release may be complete or partial. See, the IR formulations release the dose, for example, in 15 minutes or less than 15 minutes or in 30 minutes or in the one hour. But if you consider the modified release formulations, these modified release formulations have some control on the release. And these formulations are designed for better patient compliance and sometimes for better therapeutic outcome from the therapy and also sometimes the modified release formulations are designed based on the drug characteristics. So the modified release formulations are those formulations where the release of the drug is controlled or the release of the drug is modified. Examples are modified release formulations and some of the delayed release formulations or products. Delayed release formulations are also known as enteric coated formulations. So this ADD or alcohol induced dose dumping is a very very important topic for the interview and it is the common interview question on the modified release formulations. Modified release formulations are mainly designed based on the coating with polymers and making drug and polymers matrix. So how the modified release formulations are designed? or in how the modified release formulations control the release. So that is based on the coating with the polymers and making the drug and polymers matrix. So some of the 
MR products are designed to reduce dosing frequency and thus may contain higher amount of the dose. Now, here is the main catch for the alcohol induced dose dumping why it is required for the MR formulations. Because these formulations may contain the dose higher than the immediate release formulations dose. For example, the IR release formulation is with 100 mg dose and it is taken 3 times or 4 times a day. Then the MR formulation may have higher amount than the 100 mg. It might be 200 mg or 400 mg. So, if it dumps the dose at a time or in an uncontrolled way, that time it may produce some toxic effects. So, some MR products are with slower release of drug to avoid the side effects and for maintaining the drug plasma lever for specific duration. Now see if the dose is dumped or released at a single time, then it will give the higher plasma drug levels. So the alcohol induced dose dumping is very important for modified release formulations. Now here I have included some polymers which are used for the for making the modified release formulations like hydroxypropyl cellulose, methyl cellulose, HPMC, HEC, CMC, ethyl cellulose, cellulose acetate, HPMC phthalate, HPMC acetate succinate and polymethacrylates and many more like PO is there. So these are the polymers which are generally used in the modified release formulations. Now consumption of alcohol that may be accidental or intentional in any form along with the modified release formulation may lead to complete or partial release of the drug because of loss of the formulation structure, formulation design or the release control mechanism. This happens why? Because these polymers and the sometimes the drug have different solubility or higher solubility in the alcohol than the normal gastric media. That's why these formulations are required to be tested for alcohol induced dose dumping and it is done by using the alcoholic media. Some of the enteric formulations may also show dose dumping due to alcohol consumption along with the formulation. So, alcohol induced dose dumping may lead to lethal plasma concentrations, toxicity due to sudden high dose release. If the dose content is higher for MR formulation, then if the dose is released at a specific, at a specific time, very suddenly the high dose release may cause lethal plasma concentrations. Sometimes it may have very detorious serious side effects. Then it may have loss of drug action and alcohol in the stomach or in GIT may lead to formation of toxic impurities if the dose is taken before or after alcohol ingestion. Paladon case was there in 2005. You can search it uh, and have more information. The risk of ADD need to be evaluated by performing studies in the dissolution media with varying concentration of alcohol to know the impact of alcohol on release and dose dumping. So it is must to have a dissolution data with alcohol in the media so that you can check whether the product is having alcohol induced dose dumping or not.
and also how the product behaves if there is alcohol in the media then these dissolution studies are required for all the mr products which contain opioids then mr products and to some of the dr products these studies are done to check any potential for in vivo dose dumping is there any dose dumping due to presence of alcohol or not that is required to be checked then if the dose dumping potential is there then it is required to check that it is significant or not whether it will lead to any clinical effect may be toxic or lethal or not and whether it is comparable to the rld or reference product because for the generic products the comparison is done with the rld product or reference product dissolution so the risk assessment is required for the alcohol dose dumping for those products which have controlled release or delayed release add dissolutions are required for some of the delayed release products also for checking the impurity formation and loss of the structure which controls the dissolution or drug release so risk assessment for formulation and process variables need to be performed see er polymers are there which are used in the formulation to control the release so the er polymer type that means chemistry of the er polymer then theoretical coating level that means how much polymer we are using and er coating composition these factors are required to be studied in detail risk assessment is required for the er polymer type theoretical coating level and er coating composition or er formulation composition because these have direct impact on the alcohol induced dose dumping see for every product the risk may not be high or low or medium but during risk assessment the we should consider the risk as high because these parameters have very important effect or very different effect on the dissolution of the modified release product and initially we don't know how much risk is there so it is better to have a high risk for the formulation thus these variables and process parameters to be studied in detail sometimes the process also have very important impact or very different impact on the add the risk assessment section to be made very carefully and the dose dumping due to alcohol is to be kept in the quality target product profile of the formulation that means from the initial we have to consider alcohol induced dose dumping as a one of the criteria for the risk assessment and it should be a part of qtpp that is quality target product profile now this is a introductory part of this alcohol induced dose dumping uh, i think you might have got some information and uh, understanding out of this video in part 2 we will discuss regarding the regulations for this topic and differences among the guidelines with the different regulatory authorities for the alcohol induced dose dumping 
and also we will study the best practices for risk assessment and studying the ADD. I have studied EMA and USFDA guidelines to make this video and stay tuned with this channel for more informative videos and interview preparations. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.